Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this quick tip tutorial is going to be all about copying and pasting not of specific objects, but of entire keyframes. Whenever I'm creating new animations for a character, once I already have at least one fully assembled keyframe for that character, or have already finished animations, I don't just start from scratch. What I do is find whatever frame or position in any of the animations I've already made most closely matches the overall position I want to use for that an new animation. So for example, let's say uh, I'm going to make the character crouch down to uh, because they're about to jump. What I can do is I would typically start the new animation with a copy of one of the uh, original idle pose uh, frames and there are two ways to do this of course I could go here um, and I could literally just drag to select everything or to be more safe I could press control A to select everything and then copy it with control C and then go to my new empty animation make sure I'm at the beginning of the timeline and press control V to pace everything that would work but obviously it's a little bit sloppy uh, there's an easier way in Spriter. I just go wherever I want to in a timeline, and if I press Control Shift C, that copies everything in that frame. So now when I go to my blank animation or the new animation I'm going to make, I just go uh, to the beginning of the timeline and I press Control V. Sometimes you have to do it twice, and there you go. Uh, the fully assembled, fully bone, fully rigged frame is ready to go in exactly the position you want uh, and then so okay so let's say we're going to uh, make the character duck down because they're about to jump so then I would find the frame closest to what I need from any of the other animations again and it doesn't even have to be a keyframe just go wherever you want in the timeline control shift C and then uh, go back to your new animation go anywhere on the timeline you want to paste this new frame and then press control V and you'll see we now have a nice smooth tween from the original pose uh, to the second pose and we can keep doing this to get most of our animation done and obviously just tweak however we need to from the frames we've sort of stolen from previous animations to make it exactly how we need it to be. So that's one way to copy uh, keyframes or copy frames, but another way we can copy frames is actually in the timeline. So let's say, for example, we want this character to stay in this uh, very crouched position for a certain length of time. Uh, one thing we could do again is use the same Control Shift C and then go here and press Control V um, to copy that entire keyframe to the new place in the timeline or what we can do is click on the actual main uh, timeline node here in, in the main timeline uh, area here and press control C and then just go wherever we need to and press control V and that has the same effect we've copied the entire uh, keyframe and that's it for this quick tip video thanks a lot for watching